Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Ryan, and I'm going to show you how to play Xenon. There's a lot of character guides out there, or just guides in general about MapleStory, but I'm going to do one about Xenon, because that's the class that I'm the most comfortable with, and that I've put a lot of time and effort into playing and learning. Uh, the first episode, we're just going to focus on Xenon's mobility. I feel like that's a really huge part of the class, if not the biggest part of the class, that makes it fun to play. So starting with first job, and second job, and third job, you get new bits of mobility, which is really cool. And you can string them all together, and you just start flying around maps. So the biggest thing in first job that you're going to want to get for mobility-wise is propulsion burst. This is your flash jump. You can do two jumps in a row. You get a lot of horizontal mobility with that. So you can just flash jumping around. Every thief has it. Every thief gets a double flash jump. Xenon is no exception. And second job, you get a neat little thing called Quicksilver. Typically, when you're using Xenon in first job, whoops, where is it? Here. You're usually going to be using this. This is your main attacking skill until third job. But, once you get to third job, you're going to want to use this. Oh man. This thing is so cool. This gives you a lot of vertical mobility. So you can flash jump, you can do that, you can flash jump some more. And, if you have less ping than I do, <laughs> you can flash jump into Quicksilver get lots of mobility that way. You can even keep your momentum. So if you flash jump... Oh, can you not flash jump into it? Maybe not. Either way, it keeps your mobility and it gives you really nice vertical. And then finally, in third job, you get Diagonal Chase. Diagonal Chase is my favorite skill that Xenon has. Bar none. It's so fun. What it does is it gives you two bits of diagonal mobility. So that's vertical and horizontal. If you want to flash jump, you only get one. If you jump, you only get one movement. But you can string it all together. You can flash jump. do that. What I typically do for movement is I'll walk, I'll jump, quicksilver, whatever, what is that even called? Diagonal chase? I call it rocket. So for the purpose of this little guide or whatever, we'll just refer to that as rocket. Jump, quicksilver, rocket, flash jump. And by doing that, you get a lot of mobility, both high and side. It's really fun. This has a lot of practical uses, in which I'll go show you in regards to Warrior Grounds. And I can also show you in Hall of Honor. But this one's mostly for the horizontal movement. It's a very wide map. So you can see here how that would be really beneficial. Now, this skill, the uh, combat switch, it does have its own kind of thingy here, but that's also pretty good for mobility. I just don't use it because you can't really string it all together. <laughs> There's not enough uh, input delay in order to string all of your combos together. But if you prefer using Combat Switch Fission over Quicksilver Takeoff, like you want more horizontal, then by all means, Xenon gives you more horizontal. But it, this doesn't give you very much vertical. 
as you can see in comparison. Actually, it might be the same. Is it the same? No. But either way, I personally prefer using Combat Switch as Air Whip. It's my main mobbing skill now that I one hit with it. But again, you can just fly, jump, fly, do whatever you want to do. And we're up here. Look at that. I need to do any of that flying. And then. Of course, the most important part, if you're trying to do, say, Empress and uh, Chaos Rutabus, I find, this little doohickey here, Liberty Boosters, it's a beginner skill, gives you flight in most maps, and it does work in Empress and it does work in Chaos Rutabus. What I use this for is... Well, pretty much flying above everything. You can even buff while you're doing this. You just need a little bit of buff. It does not protect you from damage. Let's get that clear. It doesn't protect you from damage. But because in Chaos Rutabus, lots of things are vertical damage range as opposed to horizontal. Or, they're horizontal as opposed to vertical. Flying above them just makes sense. Say you've got a blue hat on, and you don't want to be triggering the uh, Pierre, you just fly above him. And then red guy can't hit you either, because this is all on the ground. So you're doing Von Bon, you can fly above Von Bon, and then you're invincible. Von Bon can't hit you. You're just at the top of the map. That's it. Xenon is, I think, the most mobile class. He's at least the most mobile class I've played. I've fiddled with. And that's why I love Xenon. That's why I didn't quit it. Is because he's just so fun to fly around on. It's like fly. <laughs> I never like I never get bored playing this class, I guess. Oh, missed that. But yeah. And we'll do one more thing. I'll show you Hall of Honor. Even though Hall of Honor is not really used anymore, it does have those two maps here, which are really nice. You can see the exact range at the height of your jump. And you rock it up, boom. Can you make it like that? You cannot. So you have to jump a little bit. You could also quicksilver into a jump. And that does actually give you more height by quicksilvering. As you can see, there's some falling animation as opposed to jumping, and you're right up there. Quicksilver, up. Quicksilver, up. Quicksilver, up. There. It's pretty easy. So hopefully, this is a little bit helpful for you guys. If you're still new to Xenon, or you want to try it out, the biggest thing, my favorite part of Xenon, absolutely the mobility. Lots of vertical, lots of horizontal, and he just flies all over the place. If there's a spot on a map, Xenon can probably reach it. And if he can't, then you just cheat. <laughs> and you just fly up to it. Because he can fly here. Nice little beginner skill. Never have to worry about that. Too much pressure? Fly. Buff up. Heal up. Do what you need to do. You can even equip shit. Put your familiars on. Put pets on. Whatever you need to do, Xenon will let you do it. It's pretty awesome. And that's all I have to say for this episode, so take care guys, and I will see you in the next video.